We on TV? Something oh. broke. Something broke. Bait gone. Just inhaled that live forage. We're on Lake Winnipeg here, gonna be doing some rattle baits today. Yeah. Uh, punch a bunch of holes, be mobile, see if we can rattle some fish. You guys ready? Yep. Welcome to Uncut Angling. Check this bad boy out. Huge burbot. We're on the night shift for an alternate species today with the fishing geeks. Do you know what's painful? Watching you rig that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Uncut Angling. Thanks for tuning in. This program is part entertainment and part education with some ridiculous. We are hot on YouTube and Facebook. Please join us on there for the latest. I'm Aaron Weeb, the host. We've got Jay Siemens doing a lot of the camera work and a fleet of other contributors working with us to give you the goods on whatever bites we're chasing. We don't script our shows and we don't stage hook sets. Strip our passion right down and it's exactly the same as yours. Unscripted, unstaged, uncut. This is Uncut Angling. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. Hey! We're drilling holes on a huge lake here. This is Lake Winnipeg, not my favorite place in the world. It's featureless. It's pretty boring to fish, but there are absolutely monstrous huge walleyes. So I'm gonna punch a ton of holes here. I got my good buddy Justin Jenkin with me over there. Justin, you ready to mash it up? Oh yeah! So we're on Lake Winnipeg here, we're gonna be doing some rattle baits today. Uh, punch a bunch of holes, be mobile, see if we can rattle some fish. This is a lake trout style rod and a bait that's easily big enough for lake trout. And the way I'm jigging it is also very similar to a lake trout technique. We're on big water here fishing for big fish, so. We're fishing aggressive. Here comes this fish again. He's right on me. Right on me. You can see him just below my jig. And he's not scared of that aggressive active bait at all, but he's also not putting it in his mouth. I'm gonna try dropping it down again. Get below him. You can see my bait sunk back down closer to the bottom here. And I'm looking for that fish to come sinking back into the zone. There he is. He's right on me again. Right the 10 foot mark there. Got him, finally. Wow, that ever working. This is gonna be a Cisco probably or something. There it is. Nice. A Cisco. No, it's a walleye. Wow, did I ever work that fish for a long time? I'm gonna keep this one. That's a nice oh, eating size fish. Oh, here we go, we fish. got something. Really, really aggressive. Just shot off the bottom. He's coming back up. There we go. <clears throat> here, size him up to this one, Justin. Uh, I don't know if I wanna do that. I think we should just leave this one in the hole. Ooh. Amazing, even with these big aggressive baits, like I said, this is about a lake trout size bait here. And even with a bait like that, you saw how long I kept the interest of that little fish, which is really encouraging for the big walleyes we're fishing for. It's not gonna take any finesse to get them to go. This sucks. Lots of marks and finally we catch a fish and they're little ones. Yeah. Like this is gonna be another little fish. He's, he's all over me. Watch, here's another small one. Real high up in the water column. It's a sauger. Like, we can't do anything with a sauger. That doesn't make a good show. <laughs> Look at that little Glad thing. Me. Get it back in the water. That was pretty predictable. It wasn't a big mark at all. Especially when they're high in the water column, they're gonna eventually show up monster on your flasher. Ooh. Doesn't feel like a bad thing. Doesn't feel like a small one? <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> that was a big fish. Feel heavy, Justin? Feels okay. Oh, we got the f he's he's on me pretty good here. <laughs> Something oh. broke. Something broke. <laughs> Something broke. <laughs> You can't be serious! <laughs> like honestly, I hear about all these people talking about all these walleyes they drop on Lake Winnipeg. Oh, I dropped, we dropped a few hogs and I thought it's garbage. But then I come out and there's a camera in my face and I drop three fish in a row. 
I would be very gun shy if I was you, Justin. I'm really not happy right now, I'll tell you the truth. Slap a circle hook on that live target. No kidding. <laughs> Just tighten it up nice and slowly. Like I, I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but that doesn't usually happen. Here comes one, Justin. Big mark. Big mark? Big mark. Make me proud. I will. Can even a hard rip, get him interested here. Jiggle it on the spot. Here he comes, here he comes. It's like there's two fish on the screen all of a sudden. They seem to come in pairs. There he is. Way up high. There you go. Got him chasing me up. A better you need fish. some uh, assistance over there, Aaron? Yeah. Takes a little persistence, but they'll go. Look at that big fatty. Not a bad fish at all, Not buddy. Not bad at all. It was like there was one fish on the screen. I kept working him, and it suddenly turned into two. Yeah. They'll compete with each other. And it's almost like peer pressure. Oh, yeah. Look at the colors. Look at the green on that fish. Just beautiful, beautiful oh, green. Yeah. I'm going to slip him back in the hole here. Right on. There it goes. Fantastic. Go off and you drop back down. They hit it. Look at that. There he is. on the fall. This is a good fish. Yes! Look at that fish. When you're looking for a fishing boat, you want a boat that's tough, stylish, and has incredible fishability. Whether you're fishing large bodies of water, small inland lakes, or rivers, Alumacraft builds a boat with you and your family in mind. Alumacraft. It's what fishing is all about. Just having a little strategic mid-morning move. We were fishing in about maybe 11 feet of water. Going to look for a little deeper, see if we can't find some bigger walleyes hiding in the depth. You want me to drill them all and you can fish right off the tailgate right away again? That sounds like a fantastic plan. We've just made another real quick move here to keep finding fish. And as you can see, like, I got no clutter around me. I got my rod and my flasher. Justin's got the same deal there. Yeah, just minimal so we can keep making moves and keep getting on fish. Got the auger out, got nothing slowing us down or discouraging us from bouncing around to find fish as fast as we can. This fish is coming right in on me now. And we're in 15 feet of water. There he is. Whack. Feel decent, Aaron? It's heavy. Looks like a decent fish. It's, uh, it's gonna be a good one, I think. Do you need a hand? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> good fish. Yes! Let's just get him right back in, Justin. Yeah, let's get this fish. Go back home. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> You still fishing that live forage? I'm still fishing live forage. I've used this one rod, one bait all day so far. Huge, huge mark coming up. Strong. There we go. Yeah, buddy. He lifted it. Good fish? No, it's not. Do you want help? You want me to get the net? It's, it's a decent fish, actually, Aaron. He came up right off bottom and charged it. <laughs> it totally is in the transit. It's nice. Not giant, but. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Another nice fish. Look at that walleye. Get him back. If we don't get anything, we're gone right away looking for greener pastures. Why don't we get out of here, Aaron? Like, what are we waiting for? Okay, okay, okay. I was hoping you'd ask. Might have to take a run at that one. <laughs> here comes one off the bottom, Justin. Coming in hot and heavy? Ooh, yeah, it's a pretty good mark. You can see the fish is always gonna mark quite a bit more stable than my bait, because my bait's swimming in circles. Justin, this is a huge mark, buddy. I'm gonna try just kicking it on the spot. You can see at this point, I'm halfway up in the water column where I'm working it here. And this walleye's still taking runs at it. Here he comes, hot. Look at how far off bottom this is. I'm six feet below the ice now. Got him. Big fish, Justin. He finally ate it six feet below the ice. Oh, yeah. Do you need a hand there, Aaron? Definitely a better fish. Oh, yeah. That's a very nice fish. Get that horse for me, pal. Look at how deep he took that big bait. Oh, yeah. Look at that walleye. Yeah, buddy. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. I'll pass that to you. Okay. Thank you, sir. You can see he took it right down there, that huge bait. He had no problem 
scarfing that in. This fish followed me up and down a couple times. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water. Spot number five or six, I guess? Yeah. We're moving more and more often and just drilling less and less holes. We only drilled about six holes now at this spot. And that fish was first drop, so no point wasting time in a spot if there's no fish around. No doubt. Run and gun. Yeah, baby. Ooh, ooh, big mark coming off the bottom. Justin, stop walking around. Am I being too loud? Yeah, you're being real noisy. I don't care how far away you are. Nice big mark. Right along the bottom. I'm working it pretty hard here. Just keeping it above him. Don't want it to touch him until he makes that last commitment and crushes it. Here he comes. Ooh, this fish is getting active. I've lifted it up to about three, four feet off bottom. This is a big mark. Justin, this could be that, that pig we're looking for, Yeah, bud. could you please make this one big? Yeah, he sank back down to the bottom. I'm gonna drop back into him. So often when you drop back down, they hit it. Look at that, there he hit it on the fall. This is gonna be a good fish. Get my transistor out, bud. This is gonna be a good, good fish. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna have to get his head turned up a hole here. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck down there. Oh. He's stuck down there. Yeah, I gotta poke my rod down there. This is a serious, serious walleye, Justin. Look at the size oh, yeah. of that walleye. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh my God. Oh yeah! Look at that fish. That is a big, heavy wow. walleye, baby. Wow. And the bait is just barely sticking out of his mouth there. Unreal. He took that bait way down there. I don't have pliers handy, so I'm gonna go for just a, a risky grab here. Poke that out. Look There's that, that bait. Look, There's that, that big, walleye. beautiful walleye. <laughs> Can you beat that? That is I huge. I don't think so. That's why we're out here on Lake Winnipeg. Okay, buddy, we're gonna get this fish right back in the water here. Yep. He's bleeding a little bit, but this fish is in amazing shape. Watch wow. the kick this fish is gonna do. He's in awesome shape, huge body. He's almost filling that hole. I'm just gonna hold him for a second until he gets his strength. And there he goes. Yes! Just like Are that. Are you feeling yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Ken Kansas. I'm a fisheries biologist with the province of Manitoba. Catch and release fishing has come a long, long way. It needs to go further. We need to realize there's so much more to it than just putting that fish back in the water. When it comes to landing nets, there's two main features that you really have to look at. One, it's really important to use a, a small mesh, a knotless mesh. This cradles the fish. It doesn't bind the fish. It doesn't cut into the fish. And a soft, cotton material or that stretchy rubber fabric to keep that slime on that fish. And the size of the net's really important. Use an oversized net! You can actually use that as a pen. Um, you can use it when you're taking the hook out of the fish. You can also have it in that pen, in the water where it belongs, before you take that quick picture. But you need a large aperture to get that fish in there to reduce the time of the fight, which is a stress factor for a fish. So the goal is to release these fish right properly, not just to watch it swim away, but there's a realistic chance that, that fish can be caught again one day. This summer, Layla Emil caught this awesome largie with her dad, Greg, on Lake Simcoe for a second place finish in a local fishing derby. Three weeks later, Greg, who runs Fishing for Tails Guide Service, was back on Simcoe and caught the same largemouth again. The fish had made the one mile swim back to its original home and ate the same drop shot at Slammer. When he kind of moves, and then you'll feel him. Yep, there's one. Beauty. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's a tank. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. You're tall. I know. I know. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get her done. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Adam, we're good. We're all good. Okay, go. Welcome to Uncut Angling. Today, I've got Sean Connor to my right here. I got his brother, Adam, on my left. And these are trophy hunters, right up the alley of Uncut Angling. World record holders. They've got the world, all tackle world record burbot. And that's what we're out here to do tonight, is burbot with the world record holder. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're on a big body of water, big river system, and the burbot are sitting in the holes. We're gonna try to pick out a big one. Deep holes, Yeah. big burbot. Try and target the 20-pound uh, line class world record, which is 14.1 uh, pounds. 14 yeah. pounds, one, one ounce. ounce. Yeah. So and it's an attainable uh, line class record that we could get while we're slamming some big burbot. Yeah, here, there are big ones neat. here. Yeah, it's the right time of year, and it's very possible to get some big ones around here. So. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, let's get our lines in the water, guys. Sounds good. Ready to do this? Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm, are we, am I landing this in the middle of the hole we're fishing, or just you just uh, straight out yeah, and right in the right, right in the break? Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, and just let her fall and, right down uh, around there. Feel her go, and then stop it right when stop it. Stop her right yeah. there. We should just stand because this is going to happen fast. Because I think I almost have a bite. You only have one hook, right? Yeah. Just let them take it a bit. I got about a six-inch piece of bait here and one hook in it. Just you have to... a full smelt on? Yep. He's really chewing on it. What they'll do is they'll grab it and sometimes they'll just sit they'll just sit there. And once in a while you could feel the when he kind of moves and then you'll feel him. There. There he is. Yep, there's one. Beauty. Nice. Now should I should we stay in no, for a you potential stay in. double? Uh, Aaron, you should probably bring your line in. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how big he is. Okay. We got a big boy here, guys. Don't yeah, tell it. me we're gonna hit it on the first fish. First fish, first boys. Fish, yeah. Come on. Beautiful. She's a beauty. There she is. First <laughs> fish. That's first good ten, one. I'm thinking, hey. Oh man, that might big be. That might be bigger than that. Okay, you guys do that. I'm gonna catch myself. There is this monster. There's a beauty. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's a tank. It's a healthy looking fish. Yeah. Right? Very healthy. Nice How big one. is that? Like, I mean, that's one of the bigger birds. Legit. That's. 10, probably 10 pounds. 10 pounds, well, yeah. we're gonna get the scale out. I don't think we're gonna need to weigh this fish. He's probably 33 inch or so. We'll just let him go here. There she goes. Off to the deeps, my friend. We'll get a big one now. <laughs> hey, it's a nice starter job, though, Sean. Hey? Yeah, that's a monster. <laughs> nice. What, five minutes? What yeah, five, five minutes of fishing. <laughs> my brother It's gonna again. be a good night. <laughs> and you're using a full smelt. I put on just a little piece because that's kind of what I'm used to in the little bit of burbot fishing I've done. Should I yeah. use a full, full yeah, smelt? Yeah, you like know this? what? You want to go for a big one, you're gonna have to pull, put the whole thing on and uh, take your hook yeah. and you thread it through right there. This on the tail end, not yeah, the head? The tail end, because that's the thin part, but it's very strong and your hook won't slide out of there. Okay. okay. The burbot always will grab it head first. Yeah, they'll grab it head first. And then when they suck it in, at least that's that's going to be the last. You know, when you pull it through, it'll grab them there. Sometimes if you have a big tail on your bait, yeah, you want to cut the tail flush, so it's just meat showing, okay. and then you got more hook showing. And it's probably going to spin a lot less in the in the yeah, current. Yeah, just, I'm just going to show you guys the rig we're using here, using two swivels. You run the one swivel on the main line, and then you run your snap off weight on it. We're running a 10 pound fluorocarbon for the snap off. You want lighter, a lighter snap off weight for the weight. And, and then, then the snail's like 14 pound, I think, yeah, isn't it? I think we're running 12 pound there okay. to the main hook. So basically the fish is gonna pick the piece of bait up and then you can let some slack go and it's just gonna slide. Really simple and it gets the job done. I'm also gonna launch it out there farther. Let it sink straight down to the bottom and get anchored up. Don't drag it around at all. You don't want to snag on rocks down there. So as soon as it hits, I'm just going to let it sit. Wait for that next monster burbot. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something picking it up. So we're just using slider rigs here. And you just let him take some line? Yeah. There's a little bit of tension there. Oh, boy. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Adam? I just got hit. Someone could grab the. Are oh. you getting uh, bites too, Sean? I got one on here. Got a double header? Yep. Well, we'll see. Wait, we'll wait. just see what happens here. Yeah, um, I'm getting out of the water altogether because if I'm between you and you each have fish. Mine got off. Adam, yours got off? Yeah. Luckily, you hooked up, Sean, to salvage something here. Yeah, she's a yeah. nice one. She's really fighting. There he comes. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah. just a small burbot. Are you just going to pop that hook? Yeah, I don't even think we need the net. Nice. Shirt on the side. Just come right out. Cool. They're very slimy fish, and we'll get this guy back here. He's about three, four pounds, a nice little guy. And I, I don't want to sound cliche about saying what a beautiful fish, but considering the reputation yeah. they have for being kind of a gross bottom feeder fish, that's amazing looking, that you know bottled brown and olive. Yeah. You know what's funny though? When I was a little kid, we were about eight or 10 <laughs> fishing deep. When I, I was a boy. I always loved those burbots. Yeah. Yeah, and I you could never imagine catching the record too. You know, that was my number one fish. They're so cool. Fast forward ten years, you have yeah, to would have thought that record. ten years later yeah. you would have had the world record. Like we'd always burbot. target them and we you know it'd be hard to find like yeah, uh, to catch them, but once you know where to go and how to target them, it's it's it's, it's so a lot much of fun. fun. Yeah. And look look at how predictable this is. I mean we've we've set up here, we've got a couple fish right off yeah, the bat. Yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Oh! 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 Oh!
Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. You get a walleye, grab it, and it's going to grab most of the tail, right? Yeah, and grab the right. Look at how they go up in the ranch over. I think so. I can try. <laughs> I got to go. I got one here. Going. Yeah. Yeah, I there's one. Too. You got one? Yeah. Double. Okay, I better get in the middle. There's no way I'm going to survive this. <laughs> this is good. This oh, is good. mine pulled out. Oh, no. <laughs> How's yours feel? It stopped me in my tracks once in a while. Oh yeah. That looks oh like a yeah. Big one. I'll get the net, the spotlight, Aaron. Work yep. as a team. Pretend team. like we like each other. Yeah. <laughs> Until I get this fish in, and uh, you guys aren't gonna like me after that. Why, Sean? Because it's gonna be a tank. I'll net him pretty. That's quick. a big one, I think. Oh yeah. This one's going 36 inch, I think. There we go. Oh! oh! Yeah! Yeah! That's a tank! There we go. Look at the head on that one. Oh, the look out. at that. There's a nice burbot. Now we're talking. Monster! Ooh. Absolutely monster. Burbot aren't supposed to get that big. Like I've seen so many burbot of all sizes and that is huge, man. You gonna hold the head? Yeah. Adam? It's, it's Line that up with yeah. that. They're really uh, squirmy. But okay, it's another 36 thing. incher. Yeah. It's a okay. fatty though. We could weigh him, uh, pick up your weight scale. Yeah, push the button, make sure it shows zero, zero. Weight is everything here, folks. So this big belly on Sean's fish is what's gonna come into play and not the 36 inch length, which is and amazing big, and impressive, yeah. but here's what everything is. Here we go. Okay, I'm thinking 13 pounds. Yeah, it's probably 13 pretty close something. to that. 11, seven, 11, six. Ah. What? That's the yeah, trick. Yeah. yeah. 25 freaking pounds? Yeah. I know, hey. Oh my goodness. And not, double that fish is how big the one was that I caught. <laughs> what should we do with them? Yeah. Get them back here. We may still be able to top that, right, Sean? Yeah, we'll get a bigger one. I have confidence. Well, we definitely didn't end up getting that bigger bird today. We didn't. We had an awesome night of fishing, though. Hammered the burbot. We caught, how many fish do you think we caught? Probably. 20 bourbon. 20 bourbon. And, yeah, we got three over 10 pounds. Yeah. So, and what, the, the biggest one was just under 12 pounds. So, it's two and a half off of that record that we were trying for. You know, a goal anyone can achieve if they got the right conditions and the right system and perseverance, right? Absolutely. A few key points there that you can really tap into an, a species that's relatively unknown compared to a lot of game fish that people target. Yeah. And those records, those line class records, yeah. I think are just going to keep, keep getting pushed oh, up yeah. by guys like you. Guys like me, now that you've shown me yeah. a couple of the tricks of the trade, and anyone back home. So, thanks for watching and have a good night. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Girl, look at that walleye. I'm on Lake Winnipeg and I know it.